Hi, I'm Dr. O'Gwen, and in this video, I want to talk about how to breathe properly and how breathing properly can help rehabilitate certain types of chronic low back pain. Now, before you tune out and say, Dr. O'Gwen, I already know how to breathe properly. I've been doing it my entire life. Let me ask you a question. What do yoga, martial arts, and some of the greatest feats in human strength all have in common? They all harness the power of full diaphragmatic breathing. Get good, nice, deep breaths in. They activate that diaphragm. I want to explain why that's important for rehabilitating certain types of chronic low back pain and then teach you some strategies on how you can do that. So the reason why it's important is because the diaphragm actually makes up a group or it's part of a group called the inner core or the deep core. It's responsible for the deepest level of stabilization in our low back and pelvis. So you've got the diaphragm lives under the rib cage right here. It's a dome shaped muscle like this here. It neurologically and anatomically connects with a group of muscles called the transverse abdominals. These are the muscles, the abdominal muscles on the side. Very important, some of the most important muscles for stabilization. They blend in and mesh with the uh, pelvic floor. And then you also have part of that unit, the low back muscles, deep low back muscles right through here called the multifidus. And again, collectively, that's called the inner core. Really stabilize the core. When you breathe, properly, it activates, wakes that core up and helps stabilize that core. So it's been found that people with chronic low back pain that's related to instability, their diaphragm usually rides higher than the average person. They cannot descend it fully with a deep breath in and it fatigues faster than the average person. When rehabilitating the diaphragm, these chronic low back pain cases usually resolve much faster than they would otherwise, especially when it's mixed with some of the other core stability exercises, which I'll talk about in a minute as well. So let's go ahead and talk about how do we breathe properly. First, let's talk about what most people do wrong. They breathe with shoulders up when they breathe in. So they're breathing up in through their chest. It looks like that. That's the first thing we need to stop. And as I teach you this, keep in mind that brain training is a big part of this. A lot of people have been breathing incorrectly for many years. So some of this requires some patience. Uh, you can do this laying on your back, knees bent. You can do this sitting in a chair, and then I'll show you uh, standing up. But the idea is to engage down in here when you breathe in. The beginning stages, people might lay on their back with their knees bent and pretend that they have a balloon in their lower part of their abdomen here. And when they breathe in, the balloon rises. As they breathe out, it descends and goes down. So it would be more like this. Now again, those are the beginning stages. If you're really having a difficult time with this, you start with that laying on your back, knees bent. The next stage is to really incorporate some lateral movement of the lower rib cage as well. So the ribs should move out like this, but they should also move out like this. And even the back, they should move out like this. And this takes a lot of practice and a lot of training. But another option or idea that you could do is put your hands in your lower rib cage. This one's easier sitting down, but I'm just gonna show you standing up here. And same thing, you breathe in and imagine everything not only coming out to the front, but coming out this way as you breathe in. So you're here and if you do that sitting down, you might even want to, when you breathe in, really squeeze in, make sure your body feels that you get that body awareness of that going in. And when you breathe, or I'm sorry, when you breathe in, everything should come out. When you breathe out, squeeze in, squeeze everything in as you breathe out. You breathe in, lighten up your grip and let everything expand. So breathe in, lower rib cage expands. You breathe out, you squeeze in, let everything go out in there. It's a way to help train your brain and your nervous system to get this type of breathing. 
Once you get that, the other option is to do some uh, breath training resistance exercises. You can get these little devices on Amazon. Probably go to Amazon and just Google uh, breathing resistance trainer or something like that. So you put this in and you do that same breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Maybe do about 10 to 15 uh, breaths of this. And finally, what you really want to do is work with this type of diaphragmatic breathing, resistance training breathing, while you hold certain yoga postures for back pain or uh, rehabilitative postures. And if you click the link above, it will take you to my video on uh, yoga poses for chronic low back pain. These are your basic bridges, your basic planks, um, uh, bird dogs, and things like that. So you hold those exercises while you work with that breathing, and this is the missing component. This is the part that a lot of people miss. So they say, well, I tried those exercises, but they didn't work. A lot of times their form is off, and those subtle movements in form make a huge difference. But the breathing is the important aspect, because again, a lot of people aren't activating that diaphragm the way that they should, and that diaphragm is one of the most important parts of that core stabilizing system. So you've got to get that diaphragm to fully activate while you're holding those postures. So I hope you got something out of this. If you did, subscribe to us. Uh, you can also leave a comment. I love to get feedback from people. Uh, and all of my contact information is below. And uh, thank you so much for watching.